All right, folks, Eric P. here. I'm not going to say Buckeye Bassin, because I haven't been Buckeyeing or Bassin lately. However, I don't know if I did any videos on it. I don't think so. But I try to do the garden. Some of it's working out okay. Um, started it like a couple months ago, um, if that. But here's my gardening woes. So I don't know <laughs> at all what I did wrong. I tilled the ground very, very good. Like, it was almost powder. The dirt was. I mean, it was real soft. It's really good soil. I put some manure-based compost stuff, garden soil in it, tilled it up, made my rows, planted my seeds by following all the instructions on the packet. Things are growing. Like, I had no idea cantaloupe done this crap right here like yeah it's growing over into all the rows let me turn you around all right better picture here here's what i'm calling a garden so the cantaloupe while growing pretty good if i can find the bigger the bigger one let's go over here and try to find it i know bad preparation okay We've got some that's about this size right now. Okay, so things are growing. They're growing. My tomatoes, they're growing. Doing pretty good. I'm staking them up as they grow. I'm using either loosely tied on 100% cotton strips of t-shirt and pantyhose. Because I'm not getting all fancy and buying the stuff that's meant for it. So I'm going that route. So those are growing fine. Lettuce, we've already been picking. Got some more lettuce over here that I'm about to pick, I think, because this is all ready. Some of it didn't grow so good in between here and these little bald spots. Here's them carrots. There's carrots here. They're growing. But there's bald spot there. Bald spot there where they didn't really grow. Green beans, we've picked some off of there already. Those are growing okay. Onions, eh, not so much. I guess they maybe could make it. We got a late start. This here, can't remember if this is broccoli, cauliflower, or Brussels sprouts. Either way. But this daggone stuff that I've learned my lesson about keeps growing over and falling over into it, so I keep pushing it back. It's not my biggest concern. Because I've learned several mistakes. So next spring, I'm going to do better with the spacing of rows this crap here i have fought this and fought this and fought this the grass the grass wants to go in between on top around really i'm at a loss that's the advice i need i'm googling i'm youtubing of course youtube because that's what everybody does that grass for next spring when this starts all over I don't like it. I don't want to hear. I want it to go away. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to use Roundup Weed Killer while I'm going to be planting seeds. So that's not going to happen. So what my rookie plan is... Sorry about the shaky. I'm using my cell phone, not a GoPro. And it's also... I switched over to Android. Don't have an iPhone anymore. So I keep looking away from the camera like I did when I first started making videos. So I'm sorry. But what I'm planning on doing... This fall, when nothing's growing anymore, and not going to grow anymore, and I uproot everything, I'm going to lay big tarps over everything, put bricks in the corners and around it so the wind and crap don't blow it away during, you know, snowstorms and stuff. Theory of it, it's going to kill everything. Like, it'll kill everything off. There'll be a big, bald spot there, okay, for next spring. Then I'm going to break the tiller out again. I'm going to till everything up again. And we're also going to extend it. Because like I said, I have learned my lesson with the cantaloupe. Not going to make that mistake again. Learn my lesson with the cantaloupe. It grows a lot. It's going to have kind of like its own section. Nowhere near growing over on crap. That's not going to happen. So I'm going to use the same process because things did grow. Even though we got a really late start. It was practically borderline summer when we tilled the garden up. And started it 
Um, so anyways, garden's going to get extended out. I'm going to make my rows again. They're going to be a little higher and a little wider. And we're going to have more of them to make more room. Question that I opened up this video with. How do I get the spawn of Satan to not grow in the garden anymore? Because it's frustrating, it's aggravating, and I know it's got to be taking away nutrients and water away from the roots of what I planted. I want a big, luscious garden. <laughs> I don't want to have to go to the grocery store, at least through the gardening months, to get produce. I don't want to buy tomatoes. I don't want to buy lettuce. I don't want to buy broccoli. I don't want to, like, in the back raised garden bed that my wife done, we're growing tomatoes. We plucked out full-size cucumber. It's going fine, including the tomatoes. We've got tomatoes back there growing about that big. They're still green right now. As opposed to these plants are doing fine. But what I've got planted here in the garden not even a little bulb yet. I don't know. <laughs> I know we're both rookies. This is the first garden we have ever done. Ever. So, any input, advice, constructed, constructive criticism, without cuss words, will be greatly appreciated. That's all I've got for you. Sometime this week, because... I just ended this semester today, of which somehow I pulled a B off in chemistry and got accepted into the nursing program starting on the 31st of this month. So, I'm going to be busy again after that, but I am going to make fishing videos. I'm going to go out on the kayak, and, and it is probably just going to be a fishing video, because I probably won't catch anything like usual. But I'd like to upload a video for y'all, and hope I can find enough internet somewhere to upload it. Anyhow, like I said, help me with this conundrum, primarily the grass issue, and just comment. Comment whatever you want, without cuss words.